Now, Fathi Bashara, the rival prime minister to Tripoli-based uh, Abdul Hamid Baybah, was ousted by his own Eastern Parliament. The Eastern-based Parliament, also known as the House of Representatives, uh, said that it opened an investigation against him, the details of which remain unknown. The reality is that Libya has become less of a focal point as evolving global geopolitics has shifted the attention away from Libya to other areas. In fact, those who have sponsored warlord Khalifa Haftar and the Eastern government are themselves facing new problems that are taking away their attention from the Libyan crisis, hence allowing the Libyan themselves to figure out a way out of their political turmoil. One of them, as you know, Russia, is bogged down in its war in Ukraine and has rechanneled its attention to other African nations where it is seeking to undermine uh, the Western influence there. France, another backer of Haftar, has its own problems, both domestic with an unpopular president and international with its withdrawal from the Sahel. Neighboring Egypt is essentially collapsing under the weight of a terrible economy. The Egyptian military in power will increasingly face domestic pressure on the economic front, and its uh, attention regionally may have shifted towards the crisis in its southern neighbor, Sudan. Now, most importantly though, Saudi Arabia has made a 180 degree turn in its perception of regional risk. It now speaks directly to Iran, with major consequences elsewhere where these two nations have been waging proxy wars against one another. And that's forcing the leaders of the United Arab Emirates to also rethink their position in their support of Khalifa Haftar. Meanwhile, Turkey, which opposes Haftar, continues to reinforce its support of his arrivals in Tripolitania in the west of the country. Now these major changes in the geopolitical profile of the region are forcing Khalifa Haftar and his clan to the east to, to hold more talks with their western rivals, and that's a very good thing for the Libyans. I have said it all along that foreign meddling these days has more negative implication on Libya than almost any other sources of instability. Foreign meddling essentially prevents local players from talking to one another and has this role of stimulating animosity and hatred among the various local stakeholders. Look, many people like to highlight the tribal nature of Libya's political culture, but between us, there is no difference between a Libyan from the East and a Libyan from the West. So let's leave the future of Libya to the Libyans if we can.